Hi, my name is Jeff McLean, Studio Lighting Instructor here at Rocky Mountain School of Photography. Today I'll be demonstrating dark field photography, photographing this cool piece of blue glassware up against a black background. My lighting for this setup is I have a diffusion panel with a Profoto 1000 watt D2 head behind it with a beauty dish to give a nice, as even as I can, sort of circular glow on the back of this diffusion panel. I'm shooting tethered to Phase 1 Capture One Pro. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get dialed in on some kind of an exposure here. So let's see what we have here. You know, if I were to just take a shot straight out of the camera, you can see that this is what we're starting with uh, wherever the strobe is set up at. But uh, I'm gonna be looking to shoot this against a black background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin masking off my diffusion panel with some black foam core making sure that my lines are as vertical as I can get them. And I know that the bottom area of this diffusion is going to cause me some problems. So I'm going to mask that off as well. Good, now I'm gonna get a light meter and get a sort of base reading here with the strobe light. And that's looking at about F88 on one side about the, exactly the same on the other. I'm gonna come up two stops on the light. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a capture there. Okay, so this is sort of our starting point for dark field uh, where I'm looking to get the product isolated on this black background. You know, all this extraneous baby pin stuff down below, I'm just gonna Photoshop out, I'm not worried about it. Um, you know, I'll go in and zoom in right off the bat and kinda take a gander around. You can see I've got some, some light that's kinda creeping through here, uh, probably from my video set here and some other extraneous light that I'm gonna work on eliminating. So first step is uh, I need to get a couple of these stick stand. So stick stand is basically this stick and I've taken uh, an empty paint can and I run the stick down into the empty paint can and I put a nail through the bottom of the, the, uh, the stick and then I fill it with some rocks and then some cement. And it's nice because it doesn't have a tripod base and those tripod bases on light stands tend to get in the way of everything but this nice heavy base stand gives me the ability to get my lighting support in real close here so I can sneak it in. If I had you know, light stands, these light stands would all be competing with each other. But with the stick stand, it's nice because I can use them and I don't have to worry about this stuff bumping into everything. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating these aperture flags using just these uh, a clamps and what I'm trying, what I'm, my goal here is that I want the, this edge of the aperture flag to not get too far towards my, my lighting. Otherwise it starts to cut off the light. The glass is actually being lit by these outer edges of the scrim. This light is sneaking through and lighting, reflecting off the edges of the glass where angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So it's reflecting these brighter areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of sneak this back a little bit. It also achieves the, uh, the ability to block off any flare from the lens that might be trying to creep through. It gets stopped by this aperture flag, which is nice. I'm gonna do the same over here. I'm just gonna kind of take a look so I might have to come a little closer to lens. And something like so looks good. Just to make sure I don't have any problems, I'm gonna see if I can clamp off the bottom of this flag, like so. Good, then I'll get a shot there. Can I see what we have eliminated? Nice. So I've taken care of some of that weird ambient glow that was in the center of the glassware. And I'm liking this the quality of the highlight, this bright highlight that's running down the edge. You see sometimes depending upon the quality of the glass itself, this isn't a particularly high quality piece of glass. Um, you know, it sort of warbles and warps and whatnot, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I think this looks fine, this kind of thing. 
You can see, you know, just the quality of the glassware. I've got a couple other little bits here that I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to utilize a piece of black foam core and run it over kind of the top of the set. See if I can eliminate any of those other bits of light that are trying to sneak through. So you can see here's before the upper part up here. There's kind of this wispy tone. And then with that black card that disappears a little bits in here that I think I might have to take care of with, with Photoshop. Um, not a big deal at all. You know, something like this, I would, I would go ahead and I would crop down. Find a decent crop to it. That kind of a thing. And I would probably even go so far as to maybe pump up some of the contrast. You know, maybe brighten my exposure just a hair and some of the saturation. And then I would process this out take it into Photoshop and I would clean up little bits down at the bottom here and other little bits that I would see inside the glassware itself. So that's dark field photography. Thanks for watching.